it's great to be able to volunteer and join arms with other people. You really get to know them that way. Being a part of uh, an IRA uh, group that has education and events and mm -hmm. put those things together, is that part of what you do as well? Yeah, I meet a lot of people just watching a lot of webinars. I walk, I, I get a lot of Quest education. I'm usually watching a Quest webinar at least once a week. And so I, I try to get a feel for who these people are, whether they have a fund or whether they are uh, looking for capital. And, um, and then I go to events and I'm in a mastermind. I, I uh, lend to a lot of people in or a handful in the mastermind. Um, and, and then I tend to, once I find someone that I really like, like you guys for years and years, I started with you guys and, um, I've been working with you for 10 years now. You guys got me started. Wendy did. So once you have a good person to work with, you, you keep going back to that same, that same lender, the same borrower and you, you just keep working together and then, you know, we, people know people and you, you just build your circle that way. Well, I know one of the unique things that most people aren't going to do this, but one of the things that you did that was extremely smart was you volunteered to be the president of our local RIA group uh, for a year or two. And you a certainly meet a lot of people that way. It's a lot of work. Don't get yeah. me wrong. You were doing it not because you were just trying to meet people to do deals with, uh, you were doing it to volunteer your time and, and also learn, but I mean, volunteering, uh, at anything in a, in a local RIA or a mastermind is going to be beneficial, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was, that, that was about three years that I did that. And I'm put a lot of subgroups into the RIA and met a lot of people that way. So yeah, it is, it's, a uh, it's great to be able to volunteer and join arms with other people. You really get to know them that way. And, and in my, in my business, my number one priority is the person. So with lending, they say it's, you know, you've, you've got to do your due diligence on the person, the paper and the property, and that's all right. But the, mm -hmm. the person to me is the most important. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm working with, uh, good people that sure. I can trust and that I like. Yep. Well, the, the key to making money is making sure it's making money consistently. And anytime there's a break in between, you're not making any money. Mm -hmm. uh, so whether you get a property back or not is uh, not the issue is, is my money working for me while right. I'm waiting to do this stuff. Yeah. And you know, if you're lending, you don't want the property back. If you want to buy the property, then that's fine. Yeah. Uh, you can do that too. Yeah. Um, did you have something you wanted to add or you want me to just run off at the house the whole time? <laughs> well, you're, you're doing, you're doing great. I'm, I'm I just... feel, I feel guilty because I keep cutting you off. Oh, that's all right. Keep going, Bill. You're doing great. No, I would say about, about that point. I usually, I, one of the things I really don't like is when any of our accounts that I'm managing are not working. If there's any right. money in there, that's if, if, if I've got an account that's up to $8,000, $10,000, that's just, just doesn't sit well with me. So I'm looking for a place to put it.